Hello everybody, Agate Master here, and I would like to show you some of my newest additions to my Madagascar collection. I think you'll enjoy it very much. Madagascar agates are among my very favorite agates to collect, and uh, I have a number of them that have uh, pictures and kind of like uh, scenes inside of them, apart from being beautiful, and uh, I think you'll really enjoy this, so uh, let's take a look. Here is, uh, here's my current collection. I've got three cases with them in there. There's the first one. There's the second one. And there's my third one. And so anyway, I got a couple other agates here too. These are superior agates, these two that I'll show you later. But, uh, yeah, anyway, uh, so I'll just start down here. These, uh, these agates with, with animals and scenes in them are just really fascinating to me. Like, here's one of them. If you can see right here, this agate has what appears to be the head of a turtle, or you could say a snake, eating... I call it agate berries there. Very profound, cool eye there. Looks like there's a little blue in there. And then on the back, the reason I say turtle, its neck is extending out. And then you have a, looks like a shell, a turtle shell there. Isn't that cool? So really, really fascinating agate here. Not only that, there's another animal in here. Okay, it's right there. Can you see what that is? It's got two white eyes. It's an owl. Two white eyes, a little flare of a feather sticking up there. Kind of the back of the animal there going down. A couple talons there, just kind of standing there looking at you. So yeah, so that's uh, one of them. Okay, so then we have, this one is really incredible here. This agate I call my uh, agate hieroglyphics agate. Now it's kind of regular, you know, like right here, nothing super special. But on the front, it has this really incredible pattern, mind-boggling. And if you look really close, you can see the details in there. It looks like a state, actually it looks like the state of Minnesota to me, and everything is framed with a white frame. That looks like some kind of a stoplight or something to me. I don't know what that is. Looks like a bullseye of some kind. And then we have what appears to be like another, almost like a state or something. And right in the middle you got that circular formation. I consider that pretty incredible. Alright, then we got uh, this I got right here with a lot of eyes in it, really great eyes. Look at these eyes. Almost feel like something's looking at you when you see these babies. And there's more up on the top here. And then there's something that's kind of Oh, shall we say comical or ironic on this rock? That's really nice, too, in there. On the, what I'm calling the back, is, considering all the eyes that are in this agate, doesn't that look like a pair of sunglasses? <laughs> I get a kick out of that. Okay, so, I got that. 
That's a pretty cool formation. Kind of a Madagascar agate slab there. Uh, we come over here. This agate's really fascinating to me. It's got a lot of orange in it. And like I've said before, I kind of like to see images and shapes. You know, it's kind of like looking at clouds, you know. You look up there, you try to make a shape out of it. Sometimes they're very realistic on these agates too. But anyway, uh, for me, this is kind of a scene of, like, this would be the sky, orange sky. That's kind of like a island off in the distance there. This area here would be water. And then this is kind of like a peninsula coming out. Down here, more kind of raging water you know, um, coming in, I don't know, just kind of fun. Beautiful stuff. Okay, so then we have, uh, <clears throat> this here is a dendritic agate from Madagascar. Um, see if I hold it up here. Eh, it's not working very good. Anyway, you know, it's got kind of like uh, mountains in there and this area here looks like some kind of a peninsula going out and there's a a reflection on the water, so to speak, of the trees that are in that peninsula. But there's lots of dendrites in here. That's a really great one. And then there is something cool here too, this kind of scene. This reminds me of like a, a walkway out to some ledge. And there's a guy sitting there looking out over the water. Looks like a silhouette of a man sitting on the edge of water just meditating and pondering. I find that really cool. That's a cool one. Okay, now we're going to get into some of the animals here that I've got in the rocks. This one here, really beautiful agate. And then look at this bird that's in here. To me, it's an agate flamingo. Well, first I'll highlight some of the other parts. Okay, here it is. Look at that. Looks like a flamingo, kind of the beak that points down. Got that stark eye there. Got kind of the neck. Kind of goes up there. Isn't that exquisite? Now that's one of many birds I have in here. Let's do another one. Here's a bird here. Well, we'll look at the agate part first, but really beautiful colors. Like I said before, I'd rather look at my rocks than go to a museum. Just kind of a calming uh, beauty that's in these things. And I give credit to God who put it there. Here's the bird. A cardinal. Got an orange beak. There's even crystals in the front of the beak there, but look at that. It's like a painting. Isn't that incredible. Now this one is the most incredible, I think, agate that I have from Madagascar. Now this side is exquisite and beautiful. But on the other side, there is a bird that looks fake. It's so realistic. Looks fake. There it is. There's like the body of it. Looks even like, like feathers kind of, you know, matted down there. Got a ring neck. Comes up. It's got an eye that has a reddish tint to it and everything. And a white beak. 
and that's something. And not only that, but you got that there. And you got right here, the head of an eagle swooping in, an eye and a beak, and it's even got like, it looks like speed lines to me, like if it was a drawing. And the outspread of its, beginning of its wings right there, like it's flying into the scene, you know. And then we have another bird in this one. Got to find it here. Looks like some kind of a dove or something, but it's flying, I guess you could say, at you right now. It's got its, mouth, its beak open, orange beak. Its eye is right there, beak right there, wing here, wing there. Isn't that something? The bird stone. Okay, so then we have, all right, here we go. This rock here, again, fantastic eyes in this one. But it has an animal inside of this one too. I'll show you in a minute. Crystals in there. Really incredible eyes. All right, so this one has a frog in it that is to the point of almost shocking when you see it because it's so realistic. I gotta find it here, here it is. Okay, here's the eye of the frog right there. There's its mouth open. And the details are so great that it even has, next to the eye, right here, there's an ear. And you know how frogs kind of have that little, kind of a plate-looking thing in the side of their face? I mean, it looks fake. It's not. It's a real rock. And then it even goes back and it kind of has this hump back here, like if the frog were just like, sitting there in front of you, you know, obviously there's nothing down here with the legs, but you kind of have the hump in the back even. Animals in the rocks. All right, this one has a, a flower in it. It's a sphere, and turned into a sphere, Madagascar agate. It has a rose in it. Beautiful little rose, simple rose. Here it is. Isn't that cool? It's got the pink top, the red uh, leaves and the stem, and then off to the side it looks like an accompanying part of the bouquet. Flower agate. Now this one here looks like a ancient Incan painting, cave painting of a bird. Look at this. Isn't that cool? Beautiful lines. Banding. I can hear a, a loon out there. Actually, no, I think it's a it's a dove. This is really a cool one. Just really pretty, intricate patterns. And the back side is completely different than the front. Ready? One. Get put your seatbelt on. One, two, three. Look at that. Totally different. That's how some rocks are. And this one's got a little bare face in it. I'll show you here. Oh, let's see. Hard to see in the sun. Right 
there. A little circus bear face. Isn't that cool? Okay, this one here has it's kind of a cartoony rock and it does have different images inside of here and this one's no different. It's got birds in it. I'll show you in a minute. Really neat section here. I like that a lot. More eyes. Okay, I'll show you the birds. Well, there's one bird that's right here. And then there's a few more. These are kind of strange looking ones. This is the body, the neck, the eye and the head and the beak right there. Looks like a like a dodo bird or something there. And then it almost looks like one's protruding out of it. It's like it's giving birth or something. It's got another eye and a beak baby coming out there. Kind of interesting. And then, I don't know if you've ever heard of Beatrix Potter before, a lady who used to draw cartoon books for children, but here we have what looks like a Beatrix Potter scene in the rock. We have a black rabbit, a snake or a ferret or something, talking to each other over breakfast because there's an over easy egg sitting underneath them. <laughs> Reminds me of the Beatrix Potter books for children. Really great stuff. Pattern of a tiger right there it looks like to me. Tiger colors. Okay then we have this agate here has a piece of fruit in it and some eyes. I call this the Israel of the Israel rock because the Bible describes Israel as the apple of God's eye. There's the eye. So where's the apple? There it is. Alright, let's see. This is really just a pretty one. Looks like a sunrise landscape or something there. Really neat patterns on here. Okay, let's move to the other one here. This one here is really cool. I call call this rock, uh, what do I call it? Dance of the Crystal Planets. Looks like the solar system. You've got the sun right up there emitting a yellowish light. Then you've got these clouds with, with planets, like nebula with planets. And I counted nine of these spheres in here which is ironic. Isn't that cool? It's beautiful. Mesmerizing, really. Okay, so we got the, the side there. Hard not to drop these when you're rotating with one hand. Dance of the Crystal Planets. Okay, what do we got next? Um, this rock here is really fascinating. It reminds me of looking through an electron microscope and seeing cellular structure. Looks like I... That's really fascinating there. Just like cells and... Looks like a DNA strand there, like a lattice work chain there. Helix, double helix. It 
Isn't that fascinating? I just can't get enough of these rocks. Just love looking at them. Well, that's a really fantastic agate. All right, and then I think if you've seen my previous video, you've seen this rock. This is my polychrome jasper cucumber rock from Madagascar, but I didn't show you one part of it that's really cool in the last video, so this isn't it, but this is cool. It's like a plume there. These, this rock seems like it's made out of these little filaments when you look really close. Very fascinating structure. Anyway, it has two butterflies in it. I'll show you the one that I showed before. There's a butterfly. Butterfly wings. It's just relaxing to look at. And there's another one that even has what appears to be part of a body. Here it is. So in the center point you have the body and then obviously the two wings. Fantastic colors in this thing and shapes. Okay, let's see what we got here. Oh, this guy here. This is really a neat one too. I take a magnifying glass and examine this thing because it's got so many different little shapes in it. It's got this green stuff that's really neat with the outlines. And this one has animals in it too. I'll show you in a few minutes. Wish I could take a picture of this and flatten it out just to get all the different angles on one page. <laughs> okay, so we're going to start with the animal life and such. Right here looks like a little bird. Orange wings. Little antenna. Eye. Flying. This has a cobra in it. Look at that cobra. Got the eye right there. Its neck's fanned out. Goes down there. Isn't that cool? Then underneath it, right here, you have a moray eel. You have the eye and the front mouth part, and it's kind of fanned out a little bit there. It's blue, mostly. So you have a cobra and a moray eel right there. And then hidden, see if we can see this here, there's the face of a bird of some kind right there. The beak, the eye, and the brown head. Super awesome rock. Okay, well, there they are. This one's always been a fascinating one to me. It's got the gel inside. It looks like a universe picture. It's got galaxies and stars and nebulas and really like that one. So then we move over to these here, these two. This is the largest superior agate I found. I live in Minnesota. This one looks like a heart. Look at that. Giant heart with a crystal interior. Get the end of it wet here. You can see the banding a little bit more on there. Now this is my treasure rock right here. This is the grand treasure of my entire collection that I found myself. And this rock has tremendous spiritual meaning to me. 
I happen to be a Christian and it has a lot of different stuff in it that I won't get into right now but it looks like a heart it's even got the color of flesh right there see the flesh and then that would be the more of the muscle heart muscle and it has like the interior there's like a mountain here with clouds on around the top of it mountain with clouds so it's got the the look of a heart this way and then if you flip it it's got the profile of a brain so it's kind of a heart and a mind and it has these fantastic eyes on it too I'm gonna put this underwater and let you see this here so it really pops the patterns and stuff when you put it underwater so there is the rock underwater Let's see if we can look at the the eye there this one is really even better this eye here Here's the mountain. Water washed superior agate. So yeah, a mind and a heart. And it's got a uh, crystal spring here, I call it. You can see that in there. It's like it's emanating from out of the middle of the rock. Kind of this crystal spring and then it's got like rivers on the side of it so yeah anyway uh, well that was uh, uh, some highlights from my recent additions to my collection and I really hope you enjoy that uh, I just want to say God bless you thank you for watching and I hope you have a wonderful day goodbye